Okay, today we're going to learn how to calculate the amount of gold in a gold and quartz specimen. This particular specimen it happens to be loaded with gold. You can see there's a lot of gold contained in this specimen. So we're going to figure out how to calculate the weight of the gold in this specimen. The first thing you need to do is you need to weigh, get the overall weight of the specimen and we're going to call that the weight in air. So that's just, you take your scale, weigh the specimen, this happens to be 18.6 grams, and uh, so that is your weight in air. That's your first calculation. The second thing you need to do is you need to find out how much this golden quartz specimen weighs in water, when it's suspended in water. If you look on the internet, they'll tell you how to do this using a triple beam scale. A triple beam scale costs between $100 and $200. So I didn't want to spend that much, so I figured out a way to do this using my regular digital scale. A digital scale costs anywhere from $20 to $50 and uh, you can use it for multiple things. It's a little more handy than a triple beam scale so you can use it for other things as well. So the first thing you need is a piece of wood. This piece of wood should be just a little bit wider than your scale. My scale is three inches wide so I went to Home Depot and picked up a piece of wood that's three and a half inches wide. Just a piece of hardwood, three quarter inches thick. Cost me about three dollars at Home Depot. So you set up the piece of wood so it overhangs your table by about six or eight inches. Then you take your scale, sit it on the overhang, and now you need a way to uh, set up a container of water so that you can weigh your specimen in water. I'm just using a um, uh, measuring cup. And you fill that with water. I sat it on an old cabinet box to get the height correct. You can use anything for that. And then what you do is you, want, you need to be able to suspend your golden quartz in the water. So to do that, you need another piece of wood. It's about, this piece is about three quarters by half inch. You tie a strip piece of string to one end of it. And on that piece of string you put a little round metal thing uh, I just used a, a key ring, thing you attach keys to, and then you tie the other end of the string to the other end of the piece of wood. The piece of wood should be about four inches wider than your scale, so it overhangs your scale about two inches each side. So you're going to sit that on your scale. The next thing you need is something to attach the golden quartz to. I just took a regular little picture hanger here. You can use something else, a piece of bent wire if you want. I tied a piece of string to it, so that's what I'm going to attach my golden quartz piece to. So very simply you just tie it on to the end of the piece of string. Now you take that assembly and you hook it on to your, to your uh, key ring. And that allows you to suspend the golden quartz. Make sure it doesn't touch the sides of the container. It has to suspend freely in the middle. And <laughs> so now what you want to do is you want to weigh that in water. The first thing I should have done was... Let's backtrack a little bit here. Before you attach your golden quartz specimen, you need to zero out your scale, which means what you do is you lift this off, turn your scale on, let it go to zero. Now, you're, now what you're doing is you're weighing this whole contraption here, your piece of wood, your uh, key ring, your picture hanger, the string. Let the string get wet because it's going to be heavier once it's wet. Once you've done that, hit the tear button on your scale and that zeroes everything out. What that means is anything you attach to that, this mechanism, it, that's going to be the weight of it. So now you want to take your picture hanger with the string and now you attach the golden quartz specimen. Just tie the string to it 
just a simple knot. The string's wet so it holds real well. Reattach that piece with the golden quartz attached to the key ring. Make sure it's suspended in the container so that it doesn't touch the sides and it doesn't touch the bottom. Note the weight on your scale and record that weight. So you've recorded the weight in water and you already weighted in air so now you have the two important pieces of information that you need how much that golden quartz specimen weighs in air and how much it weighs in water the next thing to do there's quite a complicated mathematical formula that you need and you'll find that on my website the website is www.goldnuggetsales.com so go to the website And on the website, you're going to see at the bottom here a little box that says important links. In the important links, you're going to see one that says golden quartz calculation. Click on that button, and you'll see the calculation, the formula you need to calculate how much gold is in that specimen, the weight of the gold in that specimen using the two weights that you have the weight of the golden quartz specimen in air and the weight of it in water. Enjoy!